Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the gaming review with this Asus Zenfone 4 and this is a budget oriented Android phone and the thing with this device is that it runs on an Intel uh, dual core processor that's clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. I've already done the unboxing of this device so if you want to know a general overview you can check out that video. And before I show you some games let's also look at the configuration using the CPU Z application. And uh, as you can see, it's powered by Intel Atom uh, processor that's based on the Salt Well uh, that's clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. That's a dual core processor with hyper threading. That means Android sees it as quad core. As you can see, CPU 0, 1, 2, 3 and uh, 4. So Android sees this uh, as a quad core device and uh, I'm actually very impressed with the overall performance. Regarding the GPU, it sports a PowerVR SGX 544 uh, uh, GPU and uh, it has one gig of ram and it's made by asus and the screen is a four inch screen and overall i would say in terms of uh, responsiveness the phone has been very responsive and let's actually now try uh, this uh, dead trigger 2 and uh, most of the game of for this dead trigger 2 i was able to install it on the sd card we have a setting inside settings if you have a SD card, you can set the preferred location. But again, not every game is going to install fully on the SD card. For example, Asphalt 8, which I'll show you a bit later. Uh, most of the game was installed in internal uh, memory, but we have 8 gigs. Out of that, we do get about 4.6 GB or so. So it's a lot better than Moto E, I would say, in terms of internal storage. Let's play this. One thing I did notice is that uh, as this game is mostly on the SD card, uh, games which were on the SD card do take quite a bit of time to load. So this is Dead Trigger. As you can see it is running it pretty fine. Also the touch sensitivity I noticed on this device is excellent. Overall in the UI also the touch is very responsive. Uh, one thing I noticed is that speaker is okay but not very loud. In that space I would say definitely the Moto E which has that front firing speaker is better. So as you can see it is running very well in fact. And this Asus Zenfone uh, 4 uh, is the, what do you say, the budget oriented uh, phone from uh, Asus and uh, regarding the pricing it's the cheapest. Asus also has 4 more models uh, which are clocked a bit higher. For example this is 1.2 GHz, the other models are clocked at 1.6 GHz and they have 2 gigs of RAM. As you can see it handles it without any issues, it's playing it fine. In fact playing Dead Trigger I didn't have any issues, it played it fine. So actually let me just... Let us just move ahead. And as you can see, uh, it is playing it fine without any issues in fact. Nice. But definitely if you have a higher budget, I would suggest go for the Zenfone uh, 5 because it has a, high, a bigger screen, that's a 5 inch screen and it's an IPS grade screen. So it's playing this game fine so let us uh, move to another game now. And now let's try Riptide GP2. So this is Riptide uh, GP2 and we just uh, tilt to steer.
as you notice uh, if you tilt it at some angles the screen does tend to fade a little bit and you are getting those water effects so that means all the graphics are getting rendered and i did play this uh, game for a while and it handled it without any issues no drop page of frames or anything like that as you can see it is running fine so let's actually move uh, to now heavy games and let's now try asphalt 8 and this is asphalt 8 uh, before i started let me also show you the graphics settings do note that I have kept the graphics settings too high. Uh, it's at the highest level. And I'm going to use on screen steering. So let's play a few levels on this Asphalt 8. And we're going to play this Iceland level. And if you see the lines on the screen, don't worry, it's just my uh, camera. There's no issue with the screen uh, on, of this device. And as you can see, it's very smooth. I'm able to get that smoke effects, lens flare, everything. See, I'm doing the drift. It is behaving as expected. I can do knockoff. And it is very responsive. The screen, as I told earlier, even in heavy gaming like this. See, I'm doing the drift. You're getting smoke from the tires. And in fact, I was very surprised at how well uh, it was able to play this uh, Asphalt 8 without any lag. As you can see, I'm first now. I will be this one. Needless to say, uh, the experience while playing Asphalt was great on this device. Actually, as you can see, it's running at fine without any issues. Let me actually do one thing now. Uh, let's move to one more level on this uh, Asphalt 8. And this is the Tokyo level. Again, uh, do note that it's running on the high graphic settings, not on medium or something like that. Oops, I crashed. <laughs> I just noticed a script frame there. But considering the fact it's running on high graphic setting is just amazing for the price to performance ratio that we are getting as you can see it's running at very well i'm trying to do the drift oops let me control the car now So as you can see it is playing this even Asphalt 8 very well so you'll have a great experience playing even uh, this game. Now let's move to uh, one more game. Now let's move to uh, Modern Combat 4. Another thing that I notice is that we are playing heavy games, very heavy games in fact. And yes, the back is getting a little bit warm but not very hot like some other Android devices that I have tested earlier. So let's move to this Modern Combat 4. 
So this is uh, Modern Combat 4. And again, as you can see, it is able to handle it without any issues, with no lag whatsoever. Pretty uh, amazing the performance uh, that we are getting from this device, considering the price point. It's just 6,000 rupees in India, this device. You can throw grenades, etc. And as you can see, all graphics are getting rendered as expected. There's no lagginess or anything like that. Go ahead. So as you can see, even uh, very heavy games like Asphalt 7 and this Modern Combat 4 are no issues. I was actually pretty surprised uh, playing these games. I thought, yeah, it would be very laggy and jumpy. But as you can see, it is playing it without any issues. There's no dropage of frames or anything like that. So overall, I would say excellent uh, performance while gaming. So let me just get out of this one. And we'll just swipe that away. Uh, one uh, game where I did notice a little bit of lag, surprisingly, was the Subway Surfer. I don't know why it was happening. It looks like the game is simply not optimized uh, for this uh, chipset. From that, as you have seen from the gaming review, it could even play very heavy games like Asphalt 7 and even Modern Combat 4. So in fact, for gaming, I was highly impressed with this device. And if you consider the cost to performance ratio, I would say uh, none of the other budget oriented Android phones could play uh, games as well as this device could do. So what do you think about the gaming capabilities of this Asus Zen uh, Phone 4? I would love to hear your thoughts about it. I'll also be doing a full in-depth review for this device very soon. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to the same. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.